Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate several visualization enhancements that we have added to the product. The first one is changing the style of lines in OAC visualization. So let's start with creating a line chart. So in my line chart, I'm going to plot the sales and quantity ordered by the order year. Let's um, sort the order year from high to low. And I'm going to bring in quantity ordered as my secondary measure to the y-axis and put it as a, a measure on the y 2 axis. Now, if we go to the property panel of the line chart visualization, under the line section, we've added new properties for the author to choose the pattern of line solid being the current default uh, author can change from solid to dashed or dotted and uh, properties to control the width of the line the default is set to three pixels uh, user can change uh, up to five pixels from the presets or enter a custom value the property set in the general tab of the line chart is inherited for all the meshes on the line chart visualization but if you go to the measure tab of uh, this property panel, under each measure, author has properties to override the default that was set on the general tab of the property panel. For example, if I want to change the uh, style of my sales to be uh, solid, but I want my quantity ordered to be, let's say, dashed, this allows the author to now present uh, the different meshes in the visualization in a more graphical and visual manner. And if there is a need to highlight certain metrics, I can control that using the transparency. For example, if I want to highlight my sales and put the focus of uh, you know the visibility of my metric on this visualization to be on sales and less on quantity order, one way to do that is to use the transparency set the transparency to 70 percent that way the emphasis is on sale and you can see that the new styles for quantity ordered in this case is dashed and the transparency is applied though the line patterns property is available on all the oec visualization where lines are supported uh, for example here are uh, a few variations of the line chart that display the dash and the dotted styles for different measures and here's an example of a combo chart that displays the line style patterns. And here's an example of an overlay chart that displays the line styles and patterns for uh, the line chart under its different layers. The next enhancement I want to show is on the table and pivot table visualizations in particular, but it applies to uh, negative values that's displayed anywhere within the OAC uh, workbook. For example, even on data labels and tooltips. So let's start by adding a table that shows me the sales by product subcategory. So I'm gonna bring this to my canvas and change the visualization to a table. And I also have a calculation that computes the loss. Let's bring loss into uh, the table definition. And you can see that the loss for most of the product subcategories is a negative value. So now let's go to the property panel of this table visualization and under the measure tab, change the format of loss from uh, the number format from auto to currency. And then under negative values, you can see that we've added new options to display the negative values in red font. In my example, I want to choose the format that has the value presented in red font and parentheses. So when I do that, you can see that the negative values are now displayed in accounting format. So with a single click, a user can now choose an out of the box format to present your negative values in your tables and pivot table visualization. Now on this line chart, let's go and add loss as well as one of the metric and uh, then turn on the data labels. So when you turn on the data labels, uh, you can also see that the negative values for loss is presented. And if you go to the property panel and change the format from auto to currency and display the value as uh, a specific format, you will notice that um, we also honor the format of negative values on data labels and also on tooltips. The next enhancements that we have done is on data labels for grid heat map and tree map. Grid heat map now has an option in the property panel to display the data labels, which is extremely helpful to present the data labels on each of the node within the grid heat maps. Here's an example of a grid heat map that displays the, the sales measure by product category and customer segment that's attributes on the X and Y axis. Let's go to the property panel, go to the measure tab, and you can see that data labels is set to on. When data labels is set to on, then the measure value on the grammar definition is displayed as uh, 
the data label for the grid heat map. Another enhancement on data labels is on tree map. We've added the font properties that allow the author to now change the font style of the data labels in tree map. Let's go to the property panel of tree map. And under the measure tab, you can see that the data labels is set to show percent value and the label. The data label font properties uh, allow the user to now change the styling of the font on the data labels for tree map. Thank you for watching this video.